Hello Cancer, welcome to your weekly reading. So we're going to take a look at the next 48 to 72 hours to see what changes you can anticipate. This is a timeless read, so whenever you click on the video, that's when the messages can resonate the most. It's also general, so not every message will be for you Cancer. Just take what does apply and leave the rest and let's tap in. Spirit, give me some energy for Cancer. What is the message? messages for cancer what's the energy what would you like for cancer to know at this time what would you like for cancer to know at this time what is the message what would you like for cancer to know what's the energy what would you like for cancer to know Okay, ooh, community. Three of Cups energy. Um, the number seven could be significant. Bottom of the deck, the magician in the mirror. The number eight, 78 could be relevant. 87, 53, 35. I'm also hearing 34. The number five or three could be um, significant. For some of you, I feel like you've been manifesting something here. You're definitely about to have a reason to celebrate. Um, I'm hearing the song Celebrate Good Times. So, yeah, I feel like you're coming into um, a very good season for yourself, Cancer. Things are going to, things are definitely working out in your favor. Give me some energy for community. I'm hearing the gospel song, You Are Blessed and Highly Favored. Why is community here for Cancer? What's the energy? Why is community here for cancer? What's the message? The lovers and the stars. So, um, I'm hearing resonate with. For some of you, you can have a platform. Um, I feel like a lot of people are going to resonate with you, resonate with your energy. Um, I'm hearing draw. Like, there's something very powerful about you that draw others' attention. Um, whatever it is that you are being called to do, whatever, I'm hearing line, whatever path you're on, it's what's meant for your life. For a lot of you, you're tapping into your destiny. I'm hearing tradition. So for some of you, something could have to do with um, a religious um, and or spiritual calling that you have on your life. Some of you are extremely healing. For some of you too, with this lover's energy, it's giving me that you are um, breaking generational curses. You are healing your bloodline. With the nine of pentacles at the bottom, you're definitely coming into a very abundant season. You're going to be very self-sufficient. God is really getting ready to bless you, Cancer. And your energy behind the Nine of Pentacles with the Queen of Cups. Be mindful because for some of you, there could be somebody jealous of you. For some of you, this could be your very own mom or a mother figure in your life. I'm hearing aunt. Just be very careful because not everybody is going to celebrate your wins, your success. Let's pull some more energy. You could have um, Gemini and or Aquarius highly aspected in your chart. Give me an energy for the lovers. Why is the lovers here for Cancer? What's the energy? Why is the lovers here for Cancer? What's the message spirit? Yeah, whatever it is um, that you have been manifesting, I'm hearing partake in, like you're definitely going to have a reason to celebrate because it is coming in. I'm hearing soon. I feel like also um, you are a very powerful manifester, especially during the season of your life. The moon here, cancer, your energy as well as Pisces. Um, pay attention to the moon cycles. I feel like around certain moon cycles, um, you may feel more powerful. You may feel... Um, a burst of energy that you've never had before. And that would be the perfect time for you to try to manifest. For some of you, um, you may actually have a journal 
write down what it is that you want exactly what you want cancer i feel like your energy is just um very balanced and around certain cycles um there's just even more harmony when it comes to your energy and so your manifestations are even that more powerful for some of you too, I feel like there's going to be some situations, some issues um, that are getting resolved for you. I'm hearing within the next three months. For some of you, there could be some legal issues that are being resolved for you within the next three months. Give me an energy for the lovers. Why is the lovers here? The sun and the ten of pentacles. Yeah. Blessings on high. Blessings on top of blessings. Leo energy on the sun. Again, something deals with um, your legacy. I'm also hearing accountability. I feel like you're going to hold um, people accountable in your life, Cancer. I'm getting like a no-nonsense energy. For some of you, there could have been people trying to take advantage of you. This could have been people in your very own family. And I'm hearing tradition. So for some of you, this is someone or these are people that feel like you have to be there for them just because you're related, just because you're blood family. Like, no, absolutely not. I feel like especially as you come into this newfound success, I'm hearing newfound wealth for some of you. You're going to have people coming with their hands out. Oh, help me with this. Help me with that. And then I'm hearing cuz, cuz, help me. Um pay my bills let me hold some money i'll pay you back when i get it you know i'll pay you back in two weeks when i get paid no you're going to be setting boundaries with these people with this person because you're coming into a huge blessing and there's going to be people surrounding you that will try to take advantage and i feel like intuitively you're going to know that boundaries must be in place People coming with hidden intentions. And for some of you too, these are like people that you haven't even spoken to in a while. In a long time. I feel like spirit is going to be exposing um, people who really don't have good intentions for you. Who just want to be around to celebrate with you. But we're not around for the struggle. Give me an energy for the moon. Why is the moon here for cancer? The tower. Yeah, you don't see this tower coming cancer but it's going to be a very positive tower for you again i just keep hearing tradition so i feel like something that you're doing could be like unorthodox like it could go against um your belief system your upbringing but it's exactly what's going to give you this abundance this overflow this financial independence is what you've been manifesting that's how you're going to earn the money the income that you desire it's through whatever it is that you do. So people may be against it, but that still won't stop them from asking you for help, asking for your money, even though they don't like how you get it. Give me an energy for the Ten of Pentacles. Why is the Ten of Pentacles here for cancer? What's the energy? The Five of Swords, you're going to have people that are haters, hating on you. For some of you, you're going to have someone trying to cause a tower. Somebody trying to bring you some type of hardship, wanting you to fail. I feel like whoever this person is, is going to be placed under judgment. Give me an energy for the Five of Swords. The Queen of Pentacles in the reverse. For some of you, this could be somebody that you are married to. Again, something has to do with the mother figure. For some of you, you could be estranged from this person, an estranged mom or a family member of yours that you just really don't deal with, you really don't communicate with anymore. Whoever this person is, this is who's in this Five of Swords energy. Somebody's very hateful. Somebody could be very angry as well, very hot-headed with this sun energy to the Five of Swords. Give me an energy for the sun. 
for some of you, this person is upset because they are a queen of pentacles in the reverse. This is somebody who's not stable, somebody who's codependent. And this person is watching you be independent. I'm telling you, something deals with someone's mom who has been codependent. And then I'm hearing all my life I had to fight. So this is somebody who's been codependent for a very long time. And then to see you, um, the child, rise up again, breaking generational curses and become that which she wanted to be. Or this could be a masculine and his feminine energy or that which he wanted to be. It's very bothersome or it will be. The Eight of Pentacles, but you put in the work. You put in the hard work. And for some of you too, with this Queen of Pentacles to the Eight of Pentacles, you went through some type of hardship. You took a major L here when it came to your finances. And it's like now all of your hard work you've been rebuilding is about to pay off tremendously. You're going to be in the sun. You're going to be in a very happy vibrant energy give me a message for the star for some of you you could do something in the public eye you could do something online give me an energy for the star why is the star here for cancer what's the energy why is the star here for cancer what's the message spirit why is the star here okay the page of source. Yeah, people watch you. For some of you, you have a platform. For some of you, this person is watching you, whoever's in this five of source energy, praying on your downfall. Give me the energy for the star. I'm hearing the song, um, I have to clean up what I messed up. I'm starting my life over again. That was for Sagittarius reading. So for some of you, you may want to go watch Sagittarius reading. You may have some message in that. Give me some energy for the star. Oh, I, just, oh, I should say messages over there, Cancer. In that reading, nine of wands and the six of pentacles. Somebody's a hater. Somebody's been praying on your downfall a lot, multiple times. And it's like, every time this person thinks you're about to fail, you end up taking the win. And it makes this masculine or feminine energy even more angrier. Somebody's watching you receive. I feel like you've been putting out some very positive energy and you're just getting that back in return. Give me an energy for the page of swords. I feel like this is somebody who's bitter through your swords at the bottom of the deck. Somebody's bitter about your success. For some of you, this is somebody that you were in a relationship with. And this person has watched you rebuild your life. Give me an energy for the page of swords. The Queen of Cups. Yeah, for some of you, this is a mother figure. This could be the mother of someone's child. Or like I said, for someone, something specifically has to do with your very own mother. Give me an energy for the Nine of Wands. Why is the Nine of Wands here for Cancer? What's the energy? The Ace of Wands. You're getting a brand new cycle here, Cancer. And I feel like while you're getting a new cycle, this person is getting the Ten of Wands. Nine of Wands to the Ace of Wands. That's Ten of Wands. This person is burdened or will be. For some of you, this person is just burdened by your success. Something just really bothers someone about you. Somebody don't like your light. They don't like how you shine. They don't like the fact that you're, you're chosen, that you're gifted, that you can do what you do effortlessly. Give me an energy for the Queen of Cups. Why is the Queen of Cups here for Cancer? What's the energy? Why is the Queen of Cups here for Cancer? What's the message? The Seven of Wands. And this person wants to block you. Somebody wants to block your success. They want to hide you. Something that has to do with um, shadow banning as well. If you do anything online, this is somebody that's pulling out all the stops. Give me an energy for the Ace of Wands. Why is the Ace of Wands here? The Devil. 
Capricorn energy, which is your North Node. This is somebody who is very toxic. Somebody has a lot to say. Somebody is always yapping, but they have no substance behind it. For some of you, if you do something online, this is somebody who does the same thing you do, work in the same field. Has a similar type of platform. But this person is low vibrational. This person doesn't operate with integrity. And I feel like this is somebody that's not doing it for the same reasons you are. Like, whatever you do, whether it's a traditional job or you have a platform, you do it because you love it. You do it because you literally want to make a difference. You want to help people. This is somebody that does it for the money. Somebody could feel like um, you're trying to take their spot. For some of you, too, something has to do with like somebody trying to ruin your reputation as well at work. Give me an energy for the Six of Pentacles. Why is the Six of Pentacles here? Wow. Queen of Swords. Yeah, this is somebody, for some of you, this person lied about how you get your money. The Page of Cups. For some of you, this is a fake friend. For someone, this is somebody that you knew from childhood. Someone that you have a very long history with. But this person lied about how you got your money. For some of you, this person stated that you did some low vibrational things in order to achieve your success. In order to make the money that you make, Cancer. I feel like um, you may have to defend yourself or somebody made you defend yourself you against whatever um, these lies were. Give me an energy for the seven of swords. I mean, seven of wands. So since I said seven of swords, yeah, somebody definitely was lying here. They were not being honest about you. Somebody definitely came for your reputation. Somebody tried to dim your light on purpose. Somebody is very childish, very insincere. Like this is a fake friend, fake family member. And something has to do with the aunt for someone. Give me an energy for the seven of wands. Why is the Seven of Wands here for Cancer? Seven of Cups. Yeah. This person created an illusion around who you actually are. For some of you, this person tried to paint you out as being toxic, especially if you do anything in the spiritual community. And I feel like this made people not know how to receive you. I'm getting like the mean girl, so you could have been ostracized, you know, cast out, the black sheep. Give me an energy for community. Yeah, the community. Thank you, spirit. Outcasted you, whether it's the community at work, a friend group, family. And the same people that outcasted you is watching you manifest your dreams. Or they will be. Give me an energy for community. The emperor in the reverse. Something could have to do with the boss figure that's very controlling, extremely low vibrational, or somebody that you were in a relationship with. For some of you, this is somebody that's in leadership. For some of you, too, something has to do with the church. Whoever this person is that's in authority, this is somebody who is toxic. They are karmic. They don't have any self-control. This is somebody that put their knees before other people. This is somebody who has followers. So for some of you, this is going to be someone that has their own platform. A supervisor. If you have a traditional job. For others of you, this is somebody in the religious community. Somebody that holds a title, a position. A church figure. Um, something I have to do with Indonesia. I'm also getting Catholic for someone. But either way, people follow behind this person. And because of where this emperor in the reverse sit, they trust this person. So it was easy to believe the lies about you. Aries energy on the emperor. Give me a message for the magician. 
And this doesn't have to be a masculine. This could be a feminine that's operating heavily in her masculine energy. But she's toxic. Give me an energy for the magician in the mirror. Somebody had it out for you. The Five of Pentacles. Somebody wanted you to be in the Five of Pentacles. Somebody wanted you to go into lack. Wanted you to experience hardship. Wanted you to struggle. Somebody really wanted to... Um, I'm getting like rule with an iron fist. And then I'm hearing rule of thumb. It's almost like somebody kept their foot on you like constantly or they tried to like somebody wanted to make sure that they took you down and not only take you down but that you remained down that you were never able to recover you were never able to get back up somebody used their power the position to ensure this somebody really wanted to Manifest a lot of challenges in your life. The spirit says not so because you are meant to break generational curses. Especially those of you that come from poverty. Come from not having much. You are meant to be a leader. You are meant to shine. You are meant to be prosperous. You are meant to be abundant. Give me an energy for this emperor in the reverse. Why is the emperor in the reverse here for cancer? What's the energy? The king of wands. Yeah, for some of you, this is a masculine. This person, for some of you, this some this is somebody who descended. They descended. They were an emperor, but because this person was so toxic, so controlling, and just really had it out for you, wanted to destroy you, make things hard for you by any means necessary, this person went down to a king of wands. I got to clean up what I messed up, starting my life over again. This person has to start all over again. Somebody has to do their shadow work. Somebody has to build themselves back up to an emperor status. This person lost a lot. Five of Pentacles. Went through a struggle, some type of challenge. But that's what this masculine energy manifested. For trying to manifest this type of low vibrational energy into your life. This five of pentacles. Wanting you in lack. For some of you, this is somebody that didn't want you to leave. That did this. Aquarius energy on the fool. So for some of you, this is somebody that didn't want you to leave a relationship, a home, a marriage. But others of you, this is somebody that didn't want you to leave a job. And they wanted to make it very hard for you to find another job. Something has to do with employment history. And I'm hearing bad rep. So somebody could have get, given you a bad recommendation because of this. Give me another energy for cancer. What's the message? But somebody did not want you to outshine them, outdo them. Like I said, something deals with your light. Give me another message for Cancer. What's the energy? Give me another message for Cancer. What's the energy spirit? Okay, so I have more than one. I'll take it. Oh, wow. The hangman. Six of cups. Three of pentacles. King of pentacles. Three of pentacles. This is somebody that's still stuck in the past. For some of you, this is somebody that you were either in a commitment with or somebody that wanted to commit to you. Somebody that wanted to work with you, build with you, whether it was romantic. For some of you, platonic. Or a work relationship. Somebody can't get over the past and what transpired or what never took place. Somebody's thinking about the would have, could have, should have. 
And then we have the King of Pentacles with the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. So for some of you, this is somebody that could have chosen to work with the wrong person. Somebody who really was not as stable. Something deals with the past. Somebody made a wrong turn, a wrong judgment call in the past. And they paid for it. Thank you, Spirit Five of Pentacles. Somebody chose the wrong person to be in a relationship with, to marry with, to build with, to start a project with, a business with. Somebody simply chose wrong. And for some of you, this is the type of person that will blame you for it, for their wrong decisions. Give me some final messages, Spirit, for Cancer. What's the energy? Something definitely is work-related, though, for some of you. For some of you, too, something could have to do with a couple trying to come against you, working together to make things hard for you. Give me, again, go watch the Sagittarius reading. I'm being prompted to say that again. Give me an energy for cancer. What's the message, spirit? Change. Don't scare yourself with the next 40 steps. All you need is that one next action. You can say to love, just show me the first step and change me into one who can take it. Yes, change. I feel like your life is about to change for the better. Things are about to improve for you. You don't have to worry about, you know, the how, the when. Just enjoy the journey. You will get there. You will definitely get where you need to be. Spirit, God is going to ensure that. And then as far as this masculine energy, this person's life is about to change or it already has. Somebody either is going through this five of pentacles or they will. Or they've already experienced it to some degree. Let's pull one more message. Spirit, give me one more message for cancer. What's the energy? Give me one more message for cancer. What's the energy, spirit? Give me one more message for cancer. What's the energy? Self-care. Clear your energy field and focus on yourself before acting. Yes. I feel like God had to remove you from this person, this environment, so that you could focus on yourself, love on you. Um, you just were not meant to be around this person, these people. Something could have been very tiresome, very draining energetically. And it's because of the type of energy that this person or these people carried. It did not match well with your energy, with who you are as a person. I feel like, too, you're going to go into a season of rest or that's where spirit currently has you in a season of rest because things are about to change for you, Cancer, and things are going to start picking up and you're about to become very busy. So definitely take advantage of this resting period or when it does come, take full advantage of it because I'm telling you, your life is about to change. For some of you, you are going to sit in this King of Pentacles energy, whether you're masculine or feminine. And I'm hearing pay it forward. I feel like God is rewarding you for all of the good deeds that you have done. Six of Pentacles, whatever you've been putting out, it is about to return to you tenfold. So Cancer, this is your reading. Take what resonates. Stay true to thyself and real with thyself. Grow with me as I grow with you. Stay blessed.